Another new feature of uh, version 4.0, which we think is going to be a, a great addition to everybody's workflows, is uh, the ability to archive either Adobe or Avid um, projects directly through uh, us parsing the project files of, of either of those applications. And so the way it works is you just go into the archive console. And this is uh, going to be slightly different because it's going to be a ticketed archive and very similar to doing an AAF or XML or EDL uh, ticket-based archive. We're going to go and we're going to navigate for a, um, an AVB file. And the thing is, you don't have to export or do anything with that. It just has to be, we just have to be pointed to where an AVB uh, project file resides. Um, the, uh, the audio and video tracks and uh, all the associated media files do not have to reside in the same folder. So this is, this is kind of interesting is that you're just going to point us to where the project file is. The project file will tell us all the media files that are associated with the, with the um, project all the bins, it'll get broken down, and uh, and we'll be able to go and uh, find those and do the archive. So I'll t uh, pick Avid first here. Uh, a AVB uh, project file is the the thing that we're looking for, and I'll just navigate on my uh, workstation here to find where I put that uh, particular uh, project file. Oops, wrong one. I want to go here, go to Avid, and I'll go to. Um, one of our samples that we receive from a customer here, and um, you'll you'll see warnings when we um, basically convert this ticket because we don't have the media files associated. But if they were online and present, these would all be uh, green check marks. But you'll see <clears throat> the basic construct here is that the project is uh, has all of uh, various bins associated with it. So here's an online bin. It's got 853 items in it. Um, a uh, the final cut bin for this particular project. There's a, a guide bin. There's a you know a uh, graphics bin. Each one of these will be listed separately um, with the number of files and the ones that we found. And obviously, once again, I don't have those media files online, but you get the idea is that we're able to actually identify those. If I want to view the file listing. Um, for this particular bin, which is the uh, Battle of Britain graphics bin, um, this is where it's telling me these are, these files reside, right? So that's why we can't find them because they're on like a local C drive or whatever it may be. But um, we have the, the, the list of files is generated. Um, these are picked files and a couple dot uh, movie files um, that were used um, in this you know this project so same thing applies to all the all the bins um, one thing that we do as well which is kind of cool is we gather up all the actual physical project files um, that includes the bins um, the XMLs all the stuff that uh, is in the system and we actually gather those up into one nice little listing here as well and then those are archivable or, or backupable however you want to call it but the cool thing is is that you can automate this so the key here is that um, you can do you know end of project archiving with a single button push you know this single uh, this single you know push of a button to get this list and then you know run the entire job so that uh, you know your finished project can be archived and sent over to LTO and then you can purge that stuff from your uh, from your workstations or from your SAN or from your ISIS or whatever it may be or you can set this up to be automated. So you can do basically nightly backup um, snapshots of, um, of your project and all associated media files and everything else, all elements that go along with that project, including the project files themselves. So you can actually get a nightly backup of all that as a project might be, you know, in progress. And that's a great uh, tool to be able to, uh, you know, kind of have a DR copy of everything associated with a project as, as that project goes along day by day in case something catastrophic was to happen. Um, so you have that capability. Um, and so, you know, those project files and everything else are going to be, uh, you know, uh, incrementally archived. And that's the key is that our, all of our archives and restores are incremental by default. So when you set up an automated job to run every single night and it, you know, continually looks to these same uh, sources 
as its uh, as its definition of what it's going to archive. We will go and look at those sources and see if there's any new files or, or uh, any change files uh, in that list, and we'll um, make sure that we only archive what's been new or changed.